Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Turtonator. Turtonator is a very, very cool Pokemon. I really like it personally. It's got really good defense, relatively good special attack, okay attack to the point where it can be used in a couple of scenarios, uh, pretty good special defense. Its HP is a little bit um, down low, but you can definitely still use it as a defensive Pokemon. And it has got very slow speed, so it is a good um, candidate for a Trick Room user. Now, before we move on, I would like to say this is an update video because Turtonator has got access to a few new moves. Now, if you want to see the original video where I went through some slightly different sets, then please do go and click uh, the card at the end of the video. That will be up there in the corner. Obviously, the end of the video um, because then you get to see the three uh, sets that I've come up with. Also, whilst I'm doing a little bit of plugging, if you could please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps me out and it would really be appreciated. Okay, so jumping back into Turtonator. On here we have a Scale Shot Life Orb set, so there's a little bit of a different combination. Uh, I've got Shell Armor as the ability. Now, Shell Armor is the only ability that Turtonator gets. It's not really a fantastic ability. It means you can't be hit by critical hits, so I guess things like Sniper, um, Kingdra, and... Uh, Inteleon are something that you don't really have to worry about, but that beyond that, it's not really a huge benefit to you. So it is a little bit of a letdown there, but we're going to talk about the benefits of this set. So we have Scale Shot. Scale Shot, when you use it, it decreases your defense by one stage, which realistically your defense is already really quite high, so you can risk to lose that. You've then got um, a plus one in your speed, so you can raise your speed up uh, by one stage, maybe two stages if you get two of these off. You then got Life Orb. Life Orb takes 10% of your health every turn that um, you use an attacking move. So you will start to dwindle down your health pretty quickly. But if you can get faster than most Pokemon, then realistically um, you're only going to take 10% per 10% um, damage per move. Sorry, I completely blanked on what was that per move, but if, especially if it's like a late game kind of sweep idea. So we've got Scale Shot there, we've got Earthquake, which is a powerful ground type attack. It hits a variety of different Pokemon um, for a lot of damage. Obviously, hitting things like Rock types as well, which can be a problem for you. You've got Steel types, um, you have got other Fire types, which should be a problem. I've gone for Body Press. Now, Body Press is a little bit of a um, kind of hit or miss scenario here. So I've got it on there in case you can't get the Scale Shots off. If you can't get the Scale Shots, you might as well take advantage of your huge defense stat and use that body press to be able to um, hit Pokemon for a lot of damage because body press goes in the defense rather than the attack. So that could work quite nicely for you. Obviously, if you don't want to run that, you could definitely go for like a fire type attack. So things like flame charge um, are even a possibility when you've got like scale shot. Um, you could go for heat crash. You could go for heavy slam, iron head, uh, lots of different options you go for. Even stone edge works. So there's so many different moves you could run on this set. Obviously, you could run Flame Charge instead of Scale Shot if you want to. It's up to you what you decide to go for in that respect. I just wanted to show off the new moves that Turtonator gets. Speaking of new moves, the final move on here is Lash Out. Now, Lash Out is a base 75 power move, but it has double power if the user had a stat lower this turn. So if you're anticipating a Pokemon to come in with Intimidate, for example, uh, you can then use Lash Out and do a lot of damage to it. Also, if you was running maybe like a Trick Room scenario, so let's take this out of the scale shot for a minute. If you're running a Trick Room scenario and then you've got something like, I don't know, Bulldoze, uh, maybe Weakness Policy on your Turtonator, um, you can use Bulldoze to lower down the speed of your Turtonator, and then that Lash Out will activate doubling in power. So that could be a scenario where that potentially works quite nicely. Um, yeah. EVs, obviously, if you're running the scale shot or flame charge version, you should probably go for max attack and max speed with a jolly nature. So more speed, less special attack. Um, sorry, she's got the kind of pig up there, got something in my throat. Um, if you're going for the kind of body press scenario here, you're taking scale shot out, then I recommend going max HP, uh, max attack for that scenario, probably with an adamant nature. Moving on to the second Turtonator, we have a Shell Smash set. So Shell Smash is an absolutely fantastic um, move, honestly. Uh, obviously, you are very slow, so the Shell Smash is potentially like less beneficial than with some faster Pokemon. But we can use Shell Smash and then activate the White Herb, so you get plus two in your attack, special attack, and speed. And originally, you would get minuses in your defense and your special defense, but that White Herb gets rid of those minuses, which should allow for you to be able to um, live your hits because you have got naturally nice defenses. 
Move wise, I've gone for Shell Trap. Now, Shell Trap is obviously the uh, move that uh, Tertanita has gone for, but before moving, you must take physical damage. So, obviously, do be kind of cautious with this. Um, if you want to go for something alternative, maybe like Heat Crash could work, um, but Shell Trap can potentially work if you're going off against like a banded Pokemon, for example. It is quite scenario specific, but I did want to just show off Shell Trap because it can be a really cool move when used correctly. We then got Dragon Pulse, which is a oh sorry, you used Flamethrower or Fire Blast instead of Shell Trap. Sorry, not not like the Heat Crash because you're going special rather than physical. Dragon Pulse, powerful Dragon type attack, hits a variety of different Pokemon, and then I put Hyper Voice on here as well, just to get you a little bit more coverage on some different um, moves because typically Tersonator doesn't get a huge amount of variety in this move set. You could go for Scorching Sand. Scorching Sand is actually. Uh, pretty good for you because it's a ground type attack. It hits a variety of Pokemon, um, including things like uh, rock type and steel types, as I already said. Now, EVs. What you probably want to go for is max, speed, max special attack and max speed. And depending on what your speed tiers are looking like and what you're predicting different Pokemon to come, especially if you're in a draft league, you probably want to go for a modest nature or a timid nature. So modest increases your special attack, Timid increases your speed, so if you want to be as fast as possible, because 342 speed, you can still be outspeed by a lot of Pokemon at that point. So if you want to go for that plus in the speed, you can definitely go for it in that scenario. If you want to, it's entirely up to you. Moving on to our final set, this is a Dynamax set. I've put, I've put sorry, <laughs> choice specs. I can't talk. I put choice specs on here. Um, it is not the only item that you can put on here. Now, choice specs. If you didn't know. Uh, any choice item is not activated when you're Dynamax, so uh, having that choice specs on there means you can use any move when you're Dynamax. You're not getting the boost from it, but a boost from the choice specs, but you do get the boost from, like, let's say the Max Ooze, the Venus Shock, increasing your special attack. You could also go for things like Life Orb, any sort of berries, leftovers, red card, possibly even room service. Um, you could even go for uh, weakness policy, as I said. You could definitely run this as a doubles trick room um, scenario because I think that would work quite nicely also. Now, Venus Shock. I'm pretty sure it's a transfer only move, but I'm not 100% sure on that one, so you would have to double check it. Um, it might be it might be like a TM or a TR. I'm not 100% off the top of my head, but you might want to research that one if you're going for this set. But Venus Shock, when you Dynamax turns to Max Ooze, increasing up your special attack by one stage, that will definitely allow for you to build up um, your special attack quite nicely. You've got Flash Cannon, which will turn to Max Steel Spike, increasing up your defense. Scorching Sand, obviously one of the new moves. It turns to Max Quake, increasing up your special defense, and when you're out of Dynamax, it has a chance to burn. And then finally, Flamethrower. Now, if you want to set up the sun, so for example, you have um, chlorophyll users or any Pokemon that uh, are really weak to water types, then having Flamethrower to set up the sun could be uh, beneficial for you. You can always go for a uh, Heat Rock on there if you want to, but that's up to you. Um, obviously, if depends on your team, really. EV's gone for max HP and max special attack. I've gone for a modest nature if you're not going for a trick room scenario, so more special attack, less attack, but you could go for a quiet nature, so more special attack and less speed, and then zero IVs and speed as well, um, if you're going for like a trick room scenario. Obviously, trick room scenarios with Dynamax don't typically work very well in singles, but in doubles, it would definitely work for you. Anyways, that is all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here. It's a good one, and I'll see you soon.